<laughs> Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome and thank all of you for joining us on this joyous day as we celebrate this most wonderful occasion in the lives of Terrell and Alicia. I am Minister Smith, your pitching for the wedding ceremony, and I am honored and privileged to have to conduct this ceremony. We are gathered here for two very important and special reasons. For one, these two young people before you have decided to make a commitment. It's a commitment under God for all of us, family and friends alike. A commitment that is meant for a lifetime, for it's an investment in love. Okay, Alicia and Darrell, the sacred vows that you make to one another today present you with the opportunity to express your love and in your own words. At this time, I invite you to express these vows. Alicia, you uh, may begin. On this very day, eight years ago, you asked me to be your girlfriend. Happy anniversary. <laughs> and the rest was history. On that day, I didn't just say yes to being your girlfriend. I said yes to blending our families, Yes to the late nights and the early mornings. Yes to the hard times. Yes to the arguments. And yes to the mess. <laughs> but along with those yeses, I said yes to the happiness that you brought to not only my life, but the life of my children. Yes to smiling more and crying less. Yes to being able to be me, to be free. Yes to loving each other without conditions. Yes to growing together. Yes to finally becoming one. Jarrell Harrison, you make my dark days brighter. You encourage me. And you turn my weakness. You tell me to turn. You encourage me to turn my weaknesses into my strengths. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I feel like giving up, you push me to keep going. And you remind me with the simple words, girl, you're almost green. You can't be embarrassing me out here like this. <laughs> and tell me that I can do anything. I can't promise you that I'll be the perfect person or the perfect wife, but I can promise you that I will give my all and try my hardest. I will be more patient. I will try to be the best version of me, not just for me, not just for you, but for our family and our children as well. You are so patient. You are so gentle. At least you know the last <laughs> You are a genuinely good-hearted person. Even when I'm having my moments and I'm just being a little crazy, you calm me down and you remind me that as long as you have breath in your body, that you will always be there. I can't picture my life without any fun by my side but you. And without our family. We are far from perfect, but you are so worth it. And today I want you to know just how much I love you and how much it means to you. Who would have thought we'd been here on this day saying our ideas? That once annoying boy <laughs> that grew on me. And now the man that I can't see myself without. Had our up now, but through it all we've stayed true to each other, pat each other's back, never giving up on one another. I look forward to growing together, learning together, and forever being together as one. I'm so proud of the man that you've grown to be, my groom to be, not just for me, but for our family. In the words of a nice poet, Bernard Haran, Babe, you're doing a good job. Babe, you're doing a good job. <laughs> I love you, Terrell Green. And I think Terrell, you may now make your promise. I stand here before you, Alicia. 
perfectly ready, eagerly ready to take you as my wife. I think about the long journey we took to get to this point in our relationship and the growth showing that we can accomplish anything with love and dedication we have. Your love has remained constant and yielding, even during the lowest part of our relationship. You are a strong and courageous woman that still to this day puts me in disbelief that I can call you. Amazing mother, a role model, and friend. We created a beautiful family together that I spent a lot of. I became grown as a person through support. I became a better friend, father, and partner. I am forever grateful for the patience you have towards me. I vow that I will continue to practice patience and understanding, continue to work on communicating effectively. I know I'm very stubborn. <laughs> and work on myself to grow and be the best friend, father, and husband I can possibly be. I love you, and I will spend the rest of my lives reminding you of that. Alicia and Jarrell, as we continue this journey with you, I have some questions for you. Please join hands. Under the eyes of God and all in attendance, Alicia, do you take Jarrell to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. By making this commitment, you are joining in a sacred covenant of marriage. You promise to honor him in love, be sensitive to his needs, to comfort him in difficulty, put your full and complete trust in him so long as you both shall live? I do. Jarrell, do you take Alicia to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. By making this commitment, you are joining in a covenant of marriage. Do you promise to honor her in love, to be sensitive to her needs, to comfort her in difficulty, and to put your full and complete trust in her so long as you both shall live? I do. To commemorate this union, I now request the rings for the bride and the groom, please. One another. Let these rings remind you always of that love and of the promises you have made here today. Will each of you please repeat after me as you place the ring on each other's hand? Alicia, I will start with you. I, Alicia. I, Alicia. Give you, Jarrell. Give you, Jarrell. This ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. This ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. <laughs> All right. Now, Jarrell, repeat after me. I, Jarrell. I, Jarrell. Give you, Alicia. Give you, Alicia. This ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. This ring as a symbol of my love and commitment. Those loving promises being said by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the Commonwealth of Kent County, Delaware, I pronounce you, Alicia and Jarrell, as wife and husband, lawfully wedded before God, your family, and your friends. Jarrell, you may now embrace and kiss your bride. <laughs> Turn to face your family. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to pre present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jarrell and Alicia Green. Start your journey, people. Both of y'all is sugar, spice, 
is Elysium. Ooh. And everything nice is Jerome. <laughs> Please continue to compliment and love each other unconditionally and grow mentally and physically together. You all created a very strong foundation, and now is the beginning of building an even stronger marriage. Once upon a time, it used to be without her, there was no me. But now, it's without you both, there is no me. I love y'all, and once again, congratulations to Mr. and Ms. Darrell Harrison Mickens Green. <laughs> Um, as everybody know, I'm Lamar, and you know, me and Joe have been friends forever. I used to babysit him. <laughs> Man, listen, hey, I'm, I'm old. <laughs> um, Joe's definition is the definition of a good man, a good father, and a great provider. And he keeps evolving into an even better man as time goes on. I mean, it, it took for Alicia to stay on his behind. <laughs> Yeah, man, but he, he's getting there. He's, he's, he's growing. It's my boy. Um, and so, you know, I, I've been I've been around since these two been together. Um, from the good, the bad, and the, now the good again. So, you know, but uh, you know, when they first met, I can uh, automatically knew, you know, this is gonna be a thing. Um, <laughs> he tried to play it cool while you know, you know, before she uh. Became single, but you know, once that time came, he wasted no time, he was on it. And he was there. Right? And he was there. <laughs> he was head over heels in love with her. And, um, well, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, you know, you can blame on Alicia. She's smart, she's beautiful, she's an overall amazing person, really. Um, she has a, a big hand in shaping this man here and to the man that he is today, along with Miss Georgie and Mr. Tom. Um, Alicia, thank you for bringing a bright light into my brother's life. He's lucky to have you. You're lucky to have her. Um, I mean, I haven't been married long enough to feel comfortable giving advice, but, um, you know, on a successful marriage. But I can tell you, you know, always love and put each other first. Make sure you put your partner's happiness before your own. And, um, you know, and that's because if both of y'all are putting each other first, then no one comes second. All right? And, um, hey, man, hey. It's your boy. Yeah. It's your boy. <laughs> and, you know, and, you know, and everyone here who knows Alicia, you know, they'll agree she's a wonderful, kind person who deserves a, a good husband. And, uh, you know, thank God Jarrell married her before she found that one. But, you know. Yeah. So, so <laughs> <laughs> it is a love, marriage, and uh, eternity of happiness for Mr. and Mrs. Green. I love y'all. Got my family, man, for I love y'all so much. Uh, I'm saying it's coming in the autumn, 
one of the best men. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. You were one of the first people to call, check on me when my mother passed away. Uh, and you were sitting right next to me when at the funeral. You probably don't remember this, but you probably you were the first person to buy me a drink when I was when I just turned 21. <laughs> <laughs> me and you have done so much stuff together. I mean, think about it, we were 19 when we first met each other, now we're in our 30s. I mean, it mean a lot to me. It's not really much more to say. You already know how I feel. You know I love you guys. You know I love both of you guys. Um,